Okay, the problem we're looking at is to find the center of a, a mass of a plate of constant density. So we have a plate with constant density. bounded by the curve y equals 2 over x and the x-axis. So this defines our boundaries in the y direction and it'll be bounded on the x from x equals 1 to x equals 8. So let's draw our curve here. So we get what is creating our plate. And let's mark our points of interest. We know a curve of 1 over x has this general shape. This is 2 over x, so when x equals 1, our y value is 2, and we'll be integrating out towards when x equals 8. So it, this plate defined by this intersection of this curve in the x-axis is the plate that we want to find the center of mass for. So one of the first things we'll do is we'll get our change in mass elements, which is the density times the change in the area. So we'll define little rectangles that we can make an infinite amount of them to fill a plate with, and it will have dimensions of delta x and a height of f of x. So the change in area then is our density times the function 2 over x dx. And we can put this all together neatly as 2 delta over x dx. And so we have our mass element. Um, that means our total mass for the plate will be the integral from 1 to 8 of 2 delta x dx and I guess if we want to compact this formulation we can pull the 2 delta out because it'll be constants and so we so we have our uh, mass integral the other integrals we'll want to find is our moment uh, about the y-axis and our moment about the y-axis will be the integral of 1 to 8 of all of the midpoints in x. So if we go back to our rectangle, we'll notice that our midpoints for x are best, best approximated by x. Because if this width is infinitesimal, then it's, it's going to center around our point in x. Oops. Delta dm here. And so we want to take x times dm for this integral. And so if we multiply 2 delta divided by x by x, the x's cancel out, and we're left with the integral of dx from 1 to 8. Right. This times x, the x's will cancel, and we'll have 2 delta 1 to 8. We also want to find the moment about the x-axis, which is the integrating of all the midpoints in the y direction and the midpoints in the y direction is f of x over 2 which in our case this will be 1 over x and so putting that together 1 over x times dx is 2 delta x squared 2 delta 1 to 8, 1 over x squared. So we have our mass integral, our integral across the moments uh, about the y-axis, and our integral for the moment about the x-axis. So our midpoint in the x-direction is the moment about the y-axis divided by the mass, or the integral 2 to delta times the integral 1 to 8 of dx divided by 2 delta times the integral from 1 to 8 1 over x dx the two deltas cancel nicely for us so the upstairs is x evaluated from 1 to 8 
and the downstairs is ln x evaluated from 1 to 8. So that's 8 minus 1 over ln 8 minus ln 1 or 7 over ln 8. And if we were under the calculator, that's approximately 3.37. So we, we have the center of mass in the x direction for that. Now we need to calculate the center of mass in the y direction so that we get our points here. Our center of mass in the y direction is the moment about the x-axis divided by the mass. So that'll be the integral of 1 to 8, um, 2 delta 1 over x squared dx, and 2 delta 1 over x dx. Two deltas again cancel out, and the integral of 1 over x is negative, 1 over x squared is negative 1 over x, which will evaluate from 1 to 8, and the integral of 1 over x is still ln x evaluated from 1 over 8. So we'll get negative 1 eighth plus 1 divided by ln 8 again. So that's 7 8 ln 8 and I'll come back to my calculator here and that's approximately 0 0.42 and so our center of mass is near the coordinate 3.37, 0 0.42.